Andrea, all of Mississippi's Gulf Coast beaches are now closed to swimmers. That's because of those blue green algae blooms, blooms that are many are tying to the opening of the Bonnie Carey Spillway. Pascagoula Beach was the last to restrict swimming after algae tests came back positive today. The beaches themselves remain open, but swimming in the water or eating fish caught out of any of those closed beaches could make people sick. You're advised to stay out of these waters because the algae is toxic and like we said, can make you sick. But how serious is the risk? Erica Ferrando found out. I think it's definitely less than normal. Fewer people are out on Lake Pontchartrain and in Mississippi Gulf waters, but not everyone is steering clear of the toxic algae. Just got back from Mississippi and a lot of people are uh, ignoring the uh, warnings. We sat down with Dr. James Diaz to find out how dangerous this blue-green algae really is. If you dunk your head under the water, or you swallow it, or you get water stuck in your ears or stuck in your nose, that's when we usually see some problems from it. He says swallowing it can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. The algae can also cause rashes and stomach cramps. The most common problems? Skin irritation and uh, sort of a dermatitis, and this sort of uh, swelling of the lips is a unique feature. And if you have open wounds or cuts. If you have one of these and the water temperature is very high, there are pathogens in the water that can cause wound infection. While swimming is restricted, the beaches are still open. Dr. Diaz warns even if you don't touch the algae, it can cause itchy eyes and runny nose. Some of the toxins produced by these algae can be aerosolized. Young kids and pets are at higher risk, but as Dr. Diaz tells us, these problems aren't too common. It's relatively low risk for healthy people. You know, err on the side of caution. Dr. John Lopez with the Lake Pontchartrain Basin Foundation has been watching closely. It looks to me like maybe conditions are improving a little bit in Lake Pontchartrain. The algae is believed to be a result of the opening of the Bonacary spillway. But reduces the salinity in the lake. It also introduces nutrients. And because of these hot summer days. All the way through August, uh, we could still have algal blooms. It's expected to take weeks once the spillway closes for water to be safe again. Erica Ferrando, Eyewitness News. And the Army Corps of Engineers is expected to begin closing the spillway sometime this month.